Surrounded by Italian singers. Have you noticed, folks, our business? Most of the singers are Italians. Most of the comedians are Jewish, which is ridiculous. There's very little difference between the Jews and the Italians. One year of high school. <laughs> Francis, Albert, Sinatra, singers, winger, actor, director, producer, businessman, tycoon, and on the seventh day he rested. <laughs> Billy Graham once said about this man there, but by the grace of me goes God. <laughs> My friends, why? Why are we giving this man? Why are we giving this man a dinner when some of the greatest Italians in the history of the world never got a dinner? <laughs> Sophia Loren's new baby who said to Sophia, is that all for me? Christopher Columbus who said to Queen Isabel, I keep telling you the world is round, you're the one who's flat. <laughs> Never got a dinner. Lucretia Borgia, who said as she was citing dreams, boys, name your poison. Said the Yogi Berra, repeat after me. Ball, B A L L. Bat, B A P. Glow, J L O V. <laughs> Julius Caesar, who said he's been stabbed by Brutus. Well, I guess you know you just blew the Christmas bonus. <laughs> he never got it, did it? Marco Polo. Marco Polo said to his wife, hey, are you crazy? I just traveled 10,000 miles from China to bring the spaghetti. You want me to go back for the meatballs? <laughs> Venus to Milo, who said to Colonel Sanders, that sure is finger licking good. <laughs> Romeo, who said to Juliet, for a better romance, get off the balcony and get on the pill. <laughs> Never got it done. First baseman Joe Torrey, who was too chicken to play catcher because he said, who wants to be known? <laughs> That's chicken catcher, Dory. Why are they giving this man a roast when some of the greatest black people in the history of the world, never got a dinner. <laughs> That's right, when they never got a dinner. Sidney Poitier, who once said to Lester Maddox, guess who's not coming to dinner? <laughs> never got a dinner. George Foreman, who said to the referee during the Ali fight, I think he's got a razor. <laughs> Christmas Addox, the black revolutionary war hero who said at the Battle of Bunker Hill, don't fire till you see the white. <laughs> Never got a dinner. <laughs> we'll 
Neville Chamberlain's mother who once said, kids don't look up to their parents anymore. <laughs> Yes, Chan Justice Thurgood Marshall, who said when he was appointed to the Supreme Court, here come the judge. <laughs> Aunt Jemima, who once said, these hotcakes are selling like hotcakes. <laughs> you ever got a dinner? <laughs> Uncle Remus, who once said to Uncle Ben, you're a credit to your rice. <laughs> She was invited to the White House. I'll sing and I'll dance, but I don't do windows. <laughs> I got a dinner, and certainly one of the greatest blacks of all time, Shirley Temple Black. <laughs> got a dinner, but as ambassador to Ghana, she could be the dinner. <laughs> Justice Thurgood Marshall, who said when he was appointed to the Supreme Court, here come the judge. <laughs> Aunt Jemima, who once said, these hotcakes are selling like hotcakes. <laughs> you ever got a dinner? <laughs> Uncle Remus, who once said to Uncle Ben, you're a credit to your rice. <laughs> Was Adox, the black revolutionary war hero who said at the Battle of Bunker Hill, don't fire till you see the white. <laughs> Never got a dinner. <laughs> Will Chamberlain's mother, who once said kids don't look up to their parents anymore. Why are they giving this man a roast when some of the greatest black people in the history of the world never got a dinner? <laughs> That's right, when they never got a dinner. Sidney Poitier, who once said to Lester Maddox, guess who's not coming to dinner? <laughs> George Foreman, who said to the referee during the Ali fight, I think he's got a razor. <laughs> Chris, I give you Red Button. Oh, I'm, I'm delighted. Be here tonight for Betty White, who once said to her husband, Alan Ludden, not tonight, unless you know the password. <laughs> Why? Why are we giving Betty White a dinner <laughs> when some of the greatest women in the history of the world never, never got a dinner? <laughs> Eve, who said to Adam in the Garden of Eden, sure, you're the first man, but not with me. <laughs> Never got a dinner. Maid Marion, who said to Robin Hood, I will not live in a house with a little John. <laughs> Told to my ear, who said to President Carter, give Panama the canal, give us the locks. <laughs> Mr. 
Marie Antoinette, you said on the way to the guillotine, can you just take a little off the top? <laughs> Mrs. Anwar Sadat, who said to Anwar, make peace already, I'm dying for a corned beef sandwich. <laughs> Bert Lance's teacher. Huh. <laughs> Set the little Bert. Now let's go over it again. <laughs> the only one is three. <laughs> three and three is eight. Eight and eight is ninety-four. <laughs> ninety-four and ninety-four is a hundred and thirty-six. kind of regular on our roast. One of the funniest guys I know. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Red Butt. Ladies and gentlemen, the question tonight is why? <laughs> why are we giving this ancient comedian a man who was old enough to be his own father. <laughs> a man who embarrassed everybody at the Last Supper by asking for seconds. <laughs> a man who, when they signed the Declaration of Independence, asked for a Xerox copy. <laughs> a man who, when Rome was burning, requested Nero to play, you, you picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille. <laughs> so this is the type of man we're giving a dinner to here tonight. Some of the biggest, some of the biggest people in the history of the world never got a dinner. <laughs> Adam. Adam, who said to George Burns in the Garden of Eden, I got more ribs, have you got more broads? <laughs> the hunchback of Notre Dame, who said this isn't a hump. I ate a cantaloupe and it backed up on me. said while contemplating his navel, it sure beats daytime television. <laughs> Never got a dinner, Ali Baba. Ali Baba, who said to the 40 thieves, just steal jewelry, it's not easy to fence camels. <laughs> Never got a dinner. The Siamese twin who said to his sister, what do you mean, you go your way, I'll go mine? <laughs> this man, they give a dinner, Rip Van Winkle, who said when he awoke from sleeping 20 years, after lunch, I think I'll take a nap. <laughs> Never got a dinner, Goliath's mother, who said to Goliath, stop running around with David, you're always coming home stoned. George never got a dinner this man they give a dinner. Cain's mother. Cain's mother who said to Cain after he slew it. His brother Abel. Wait till your father comes home, are you gonna get it? <laughs> never got a dinner lot. Who said when his wife was turned into a pillar of salt? Salt, we got plenty. Coffee, we need. <laughs> Cleopatra, who said to Mark Antony when she placed the serpent in her bosom, of course it's suicide. You think I'm trying to make out with a snake? <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with the B team. <laughs> I'm here tonight to ask one question. And one question alone. Why? Why are we giving this man a dinner when some of the biggest people in the history of the world never got a dinner? Adam. Adam, who said to Eve in the Garden of Eden, what do you mean you got nothing to wear? Never got a dinner. Noah, who said to his travel agent, how come it never rains on Love Boat? <laughs> and he never got a dinner. St. Christopher, who said, where can I buy a Frank Sinatra medal? <laughs> Sitting Bull, who said to General Custer, that's not my real name, but who's going to listen to an Indian chief named Diving? <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor, who said to Joan Rivers, first we'll eat, then we'll talk. <laughs> the doctor who said when he delivered Mr. T, he slapped me! <laughs> Michelangelo's girlfriend who said to Angelo, <laughs> forget the paint, let's put a mirror on the ceiling. <laughs> and Dick Clark's wife who said on their honeymoon, this is your third blooper tonight. <laughs> give you red button. <laughs> Here's a man lives with a bear and they give him a dinner. <laughs> Samson lived with Delilah, got a haircut. I lived with my first wife 11 years. I got a summons. <laughs> I'm not knocking bears. Bears are good people. Do you realize that since they put those Smokey the Bear ads in the subways, there hasn't been one forest fire in New York City? <laughs> Why are we giving this man a dinner? Why are we giving this man a dinner when some of the greatest people in the history of the world never got a dinner? <laughs> Billy Carter he said to his brother Jimmy, can you get me on the gong show? <laughs> never got a dinner. Henry Ford, who with all his money never owned a Cadillac. <laughs> Never got a dinner, this man they give a dinner. Ponce de Leon, who said when he found the fountain of youth, where the hell are the paper cups? <laughs> Peter Minuit, pizza Minuit, pizza, pizza, pizza Minuit, <laughs> who said to the Indians when he bought Manhattan, will you take a check on a Puerto Rican bank? <laughs> Never got a dinner, never got a dinner. King Arthur. I don't want to tell you his first name. <laughs> You're not going to believe it. Melvin. Melvin Arthur, that was his full name. King Melvin Arthur. Who said to Queen Guinevere, since you bought the round table, all we get is pizza, pizza. <laughs> who said when Stanley found them you didn't have to search I'm in the book <laughs> Hey, 
Simon Bluebeard. <laughs> I'm in Bluebeard who sent to Scotland Yard. How do I know how many women I've killed? I'm a murderer, not an accountant. <laughs> children of Israel at the Red Sea. Take your galoshes. I never did this trick before. <laughs> they never got a dinner this name. That's a dinner. 